This episode of The Central is presented by Papa John's. Better ingredients, better pizza. Order online at papajohns.com and use code MCJNN for a great deal. Hello Jaguars, I'm Miller Widemeyer. And I'm Wes Fowler. And this is JNN's The Central. And now for our top school story. Madison Central's very own Rebecca Temple was recently awarded with the prestigious Madison County High School Teacher of the Year Award for the 2019-2020 school year. This is Ms. Temple's 24th year teaching high school English in Mississippi schools. Congratulations on this amazing achievement. And now for our top news story. Since early December, Australia has been ravaged by wild bushfires. A reported 23 people have died and over 480 million animals were killed. Our thoughts go out to the people of Australia. And now to Isabella with our weather forecast. Thanks, Wes. This week's weather calls for a high of 72 degrees on Friday with a chance of thunderstorms, which will take us through Saturday. On Sunday, the sun will peek back through the clouds, which will bring us to the beginning of the week, which looks a bit overcast with lower temperatures. That's your weather forecast. Now to David with a sports update. Thanks, Isabella. This upcoming Monday, January 13th, the College Football National Championship will be held in the Mercedes-Benz Superdome in New Orleans. The number one team in the SEC West Division, LSU, will take on the ACC Atlantic Division team, Clemson, to compete for the title. The Get to College Foundation strives to make students' lives easier when looking for colleges. Here's JNN's Jacob Grimsley with more. Yeah. Making decisions about college is a big choice for lots of high school students. The application process and other aspects involved can be intimidating and confusing for people seeking a higher education. Get to College is an organization that looks to make this process as easy as possible. Some of the staff at the office in Jackson told us more about how they influence the lives of high schoolers with their business. So Get to College is a nonprofit college access organization and our job is to help students in the state of Mississippi figure out how to prepare, plan, and pay for college. So we help you from the time of college applications, essays, financial aid, all the way up until making sure that your financial aid is verified and things like that once you enroll in college. I go to high schools and I talk to parents and seniors, juniors about what they need to do, the timeline of being a senior and how to go to college. And then also I work with training, training counselors, administrators on things they need to know when it comes to college access. One of the main areas that Get to College helps students with is college and financial aid applications. For the state of Mississippi, we always talk about how education is so important. Well, one thing that we see here is a lot has changed when it comes to higher education and it's not just, oh, I apply to college and I'm in. It's really expensive. So for a lot of students, this education is a way for them to experience upward social mobility and experience um, their dream job. And so that takes some, some back work. So we're able to say, hey, let us help you out with that process of financial aid and college planning. Everything we do is absolutely free. So if they're from the Jackson Metro area, they can come set an appointment um, here at our Jackson office. Um, we're on Lakeland Drive and they can do that by calling in to the center um, or they can set up an appointment online or they can email our office, they can message us on Facebook, Instagram, pretty much any way that they can find us, they can reach out to us. The Get to College office in Jackson provides much needed help to the community and has a positive impact on high schoolers throughout the area. This has been Jacob Grimsley with JNN. The conservation of Mississippi's swamp ecosystem has recently been a pressing issue. Here's JNN's Isabella with more. When the city of Grenada was low in funds, their first thought to raise money was to start selling timber from the local swamp. This would not go over well in the eyes of local artist Robin Whitfield. Robin Whitfield grew up in Mississippi, and when she returned from college, the swamp was her grounding point. Well, from the time Robin was small, uh, she looked for wild places. Of course, in Clinton, there weren't that many, but that's what she always loved. And then when she ended up in Grenada and discovered the swamp, um, that kind of became her second home. Well, I began to go there on a daily basis and drawing and painting it. And while drawing and painting it, also learning about it. I planned chunks of time to go painting. And I had planned this particular time to go painting about three years ago for like an entire three weeks. And on day one, I had my backpack 
I drove down to the swamp, I got out, and I saw that there was ribbons all around the boundaries that said timber harvest. I just knew that I cared about it so much personally, but I also saw what a benefit it was for our community. Grenada still needed the money despite her love of the swamp. Robin was inspired. She came up with the idea of selling each tree to supporters for the same amount as the timber would go for, which was between 50 to $75. I was almost offended that trees have such little market value. All the trees together form a community. And when the trees were cut, the community would dissolve. The idea was to sell trees to people and leave them there. And then the people could come to see their tree and buy a tree in memory of someone they loved or give a tree in honor of someone or just have one that they could go visit. The city put out bids for timber companies to come in and they were going to go for the highest bidder. I stood up and I told them the idea to let me sell the timber. We weren't sure how to be the high bidder, but we knew it was going to be probably between two hundred and fifty and three hundred thousand dollars. Once the tree was purchased, it could stay unharmed in the swamp. With so many contributors, Whitfield was able to raise over three hundred thousand dollars. So our nonprofit is really, uh, we're dedicated to connecting people to nature. I believed it before this project, but this project has certainly taught me that everything is about connection and relationship. Robin created a wonderful preservation opportunity for her community. Now residents and visitors can continue to enjoy the reverberating beauty of the swamp. So log on to Friends of Chachuma Swamp and purchase your tree today. The Madison Career and Technical Center offers a variety of classes to help prepare students for jobs in the fields of medicine, construction, and engineering. Here's JNN's Eli Brown with more. Madison Central is home to a number of unique classes to help prepare students for college and careers. A great way for an MC student to furtherize their education is by signing up for a course at Madison Career and Technical Center, or MCTC for short. MCTC offers several two-year courses that give students a chance to experience a more in-depth career path. One such course is the Health Science Career Pathway, which teaches basic biological concepts and technical skills. The classes are mostly taught by Ms. Slaughter, Mrs. Johnson, and Mr. McDavid. We got a statement from Mrs. Johnson on why students should consider taking the pathway. Quote, by having this foundation of health science, the students will have such an advantage furthering their medical related health education. We have had students come back after college and say that the class was an asset to them. End quote. The two-year structure of the health science pathway lets students get a basic understanding of health science and how the human body functions in their first year before moving on to the application of the knowledge in the second year. The first year curriculum covers healthcare systems, infection control, ethnics, body organization, and health maintenance practices. We asked the first year pathway student, Cecilia Dalhart, about her experience with the course and the opportunities it has offered her. Oh yeah, I love this class. Um, I, get to I get to learn a lot of new things that I wouldn't have expected to know or even understand. It's like how to put on gowns, how to properly dress yourself, what to do during the workplace. I definitely would recommend it to someone else if you're going into um, the nursing or pharmacy field. You'll learn a lot of stuff that will be very helpful. The second year of the pathway covers more hands-on skills, allowing students to use their learning from the first year to see if they enjoy working in a health science occupation. Students learn clinical procedures, emergency and diagnostic services, and nursing skills. Second year students over 18 years old can choose to take an exam for certification as a pharmacy tech or certified nursing assistant. It's clear that MCTC's Health Science Pathway offers unique opportunities for students, including exploring medical careers and possibly achieving certification. More information about the prerequisites sites and the course's curriculum can be found on the MCTC's website. This has been Eli Brown with JNN. Thanks, Eli. Well, that's all for this time, Jags. Be sure to check online for daily announcements at mcjags.com on the JNN page. I'm Miller Weidmeyer. And I'm Wes Fowler. And this has been JNN's The Central. Central.